What's up, people? It's your man, Herb Lover, reporting live direct from the Herbmobile. I got the AC on, hoping that this day I ain't going to phone, don't cut off on me because he'll be eating. But anyway, um, just want to make a quick discussion now. We understand that there are going to be a lot of coaches out there this offseason for the Lakers to look into. But I am going to only focus on the three main coaches that I believe that the Lakers are going to be the front runners for the Lakers organization going forward. And those three coaches are actually, um, you know, Lou Walton, um, Jason Kidd, and Ty Lu. Now, real quick, Ty Lu, I said Ty Lu might be the uh, the coach that the Lakers probably go after only because of the simple fact that him and LeBron James have a good relationship and LeBron James, he actually, you know, was LeBron James' coach for a couple years. So it makes sense for them to go after Ty Lu. Now, with Jason Kidd, Jason Kidd, to be honest with you, the only reason why I can see the Lakers going after Jason Kidd if they decide to keep Lonzo Ball, which would make sense because he's, by him being a, a point guard, you know, in the league back in the days, you know, he can actually help Lonzo Ball um, establish himself as a better point guard. And that's the only reason why I can see them getting uh, Jason Kidd. Now, for Luke Walton, Luke Walton, the only reason why I can see him staying, based on the fact that he can't clearly stated that he'll be back another year, the only reason why I see them keeping him is for the simple fact of Jeannie Buss. Now, out of the all three of them, to be honest with you, now me personally, like those that follow my channel and know how I feel, I'm always going to be, you know, I'm always looking for a coach with some experience and the opportunity to develop young players. But based on the fact that we don't know what the future holds when it comes to the young players and LeBron James, um, me personally, for the young players, I will go with Mark Jackson. Now, based on the fact that we got LeBron James and we know that LeBron James' window is kind of short, we got to keep it in perspective and remember that we're here to basically please LeBron James. So on that note, out of the three, I will go with Luke Walton. And the reason why I'm saying Luke Walton because, hear me out before y'all go crazy, well, I will go with Ty Lue. Now, this is my opinion, and the reason why I go with Luke Walton is for the simple fact that I said before, Luke Walton is a good veterans coach. As in for ex developing young players, nah. Jason Kidd, probably so-so, but not as much. And then I'll look at Ty Lue. I wouldn't even go with Ty Lue as a um, uh, uh, development coach as well. More so as um, a coach who basically, is for the veterans, just as much as Luke Walton. This guy right here, man. Jeez, where is, dude? I don't know, this cab, this cab driver kept coming over the line, man. It kind of made me nervous. I think he's going to probably hit me. He's side swiping. You know, a swiper or someone's hyping. Whatever it's called, I forgot it's called. But anyway, get back on topic before I lose uh, my thought. Now, the reason why I say Lou Walton is only because he got one more year left on his contract. I think he's the better out of the three. Um, I know a lot of people will probably disagree with me. They probably see Ty Lue is better. I say, well, let's be honest. Ty Lue has been on as a coach for the East. Uh, LeBron James, yes, he went to the final, what, eight straight years? But you yeah, remember, during the time that LeBron went to the finals, the East was very, very, East was very, very weak. And it's still kind of weak as of right now. You probably got four strong teams in the east compared to the west but you probably got 12 teams in the west and any team from from one to 12 can actually you know give any team on the east a good uh, playoff run in a seven game series they'll at least win two that's why i can say out of all 12 teams that's on the west yes even the teams that didn't make the playoff they can at least win two of those games and i know that people like what about toronto i don't want to get into that but i'm just saying a team in the west can at least get them um a run for their money not saying they're going to beat them but they'll at least get two wins from one to 12. But I would go with Lou Walton only because of the simple fact Ty Lue, like I said, he coached LeBron in the East. The East was weak to me, so Ty Lue was mostly just like similar to Luke Walton. The only difference is that you know LeBron James was basically doing the most of the coaching. Prime example, when, when, um, when LeBron James left, Ty Lue couldn't manage that team. You know, and remember, the East is still weak, and you still couldn't manage that team. So I would not want Ty Lue. Now, for Jason Kidd, he had the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, the Milwaukee Bucks with him was always hovered around 40 win marks and stuff like that. Not bad for a coach, you know, a coach who actually coached a couple teams but really ain't really got a strong resume as a coach. Um, good at developing young players. I just think that, you know, he didn't, I, I think he was still trying to acknowledge kind of like old school, like, you know what I mean? Because Milwaukee never had no shooters when he was coaching. They always had like just basically guys that attacked the basket. So with that being said, that's the reason why I would go with Luke because Luke Walton, um, I believe, I, I know that we give Luke Walton a hard rap but to be honest with you, what's else out there? I know we can name other coaches, but let's look at the only three that the Lakers are basically going to be looking at. And I say right now at this point in time, even though I'm not a Lou Walton fan, I'm not really happy about him, excited about him. But if the Lakers, and, and the only reason why I say Lou Walton, because if the Lakers get rid of them young players, just say they trade the young players this offseason for AD, Lou Walton will make more sense. 
because Lou Walton is, is, is the best coach for the veterans because why? He know how to adapt when it comes to the veterans compared to Ty Lue and Jason Kidd. Remember, he was in the West. He know how strong the West is. And we and, and if you look at it, let's be honest, even though Lou Walton had a bad uh, rap for time management and rotation when it comes to the young players, not the, not the veterans, but the young players. And when it comes to the young players, if you think about it, um, you look at every year, our team got better and better every year. Last year we won 35 games, and I told you guys, you know, with the KCP situation, the trade situation when it picked up um, IT and brought um, him and um, Channing Fry over here. Um, also, um, you know, with Julius Randle coming, for him it took a long time to finally play Julius Randle. You know, and I'm not gonna make excuses that because I, I, you know, you got some fan. I mean, some fans and, me, and media or reporters said that Lou Walton helped uh, um, help Julius Randle. He didn't really help Julius Randle. Let's be honest. He actually slowed down Julius Randle growth. The same thing what Lou Walton did with D'Angelo Russell, Jordan Clarkson, uh, Larry Nance. I can go on and on. Um, you know, he slowed down the young players' growth because he didn't know how to really utilize them. Now, when the veterans, that's a different story because these veterans are already they're already stoned and what they can do. So you know what you're getting when you get from the veteran. With the young players, you just watch them develop. But at the end of the day, um, I'd rather go with Lou Walton out of the three. And like I said, only because he's much more to me, is a much more better veteran coach than the other two that I named. Ty Lue, like I said, his resume, yeah, they, they said, well, you know, he won a championship with um, with uh, Cleveland, yeah, but that's like I said, you look at the East, and then there's a lot of um, scenarios that took place in order for LeBron James to win that championship. And I don't want to go into details about that, but out of all the three, I will go with Luke Walton. Some of y'all might disagree, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. We all have opinion. This is the barber shop. We're in my car. This is my opinion. I like to hear y'all opinion, what y'all think. Sticking to the three. I know y'all, some of you guys gonna be in the conversation. Well, I like to get this guy from um, college or pick up this guy from this team, blah, blah, blah. But let's be honest, let's look at what the Lakers are looking at. And that's the three main individuals that the Lakers are looking at. Ty Lue, Jason Kidd, and Luke Walton. So let's keep it in perspective. So out of those three, who would you rather have? I know some of y'all probably see Jason Kidd, but like I said, the resume speak for themselves, you know. And you gotta remember, both of these guys come from the East. You know what I mean? Wasn't too much development going on, too much coaching going on in the West. Lou Walton has a fair share in the West only because he played, I mean, he coached uh, years with the uh, Golden State Warriors and with the Lakers. So he has, a, 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 I guess, a thumbs up more than the other two that I named. So with that being said, man, ever love like, share, subscribe, get in the comment section, tell what you think. And somebody left their dang on keys in the dang on car. Gee whiz. The pray them little young girls. Anyway, y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Um, much love, and I'll, I got another video dropped right behind this. I want to talk about the Magic Johnson um, situation that he came up to uh, LeBron James, and I also want to talk about, um, I forgot the other one, but I got two more videos coming. So with that being said, y'all take care, be blessed, be safe out there.